dude. Get into the music, man. Catch the wave. This is something that adults live for. They just love it when kids pound on different objects, especially pots and pans. Okay, maybe you're right. Adults can't stand it. But it sure is a lot of fun. <laughs> actually, and sometimes it actually sounds great. <laughs> Take this clip, for example. You know, there are all sorts of things that make sounds in the world. Let's start with ourselves. You make sounds. No, not snoring. Although that is a sound. And not the stinky one, either. I mean, the sounds that you can make with your hands, mouth, and feet. You can clap. Snap, pat. In fact, you can even make a pattern like clap, snap, clap, snap. Okay. Can you whistle? Or hum? If you put all that whistling, humming, clapping, and snapping together, you could be your own band. Yes, sir. In a real band or orchestra, you can hear all sorts of different sounds from the different instruments. Listen to this clip. The percussion instruments, like the drums and cymbals, all create big sounds. There are flutes with a high sound and tubas with a low sound. Violins have a very unique sound. They are string instruments. And guitars are in all sorts of bands. Maybe you play an instrument with a really great sound. I can use a drumstick to make a sound on this pot from my kitchen. This makes a different sound than when I use my hand to hit it. There are thousands of different sounds in the world. All of these objects on the table make their own unique sounds. Some of them make low sounds, like this plastic bowl. Other objects make higher sounds, like this cookie sheet. Just listen to all the interesting sounds that these objects make. <laughs> sounds can be a lot of fun, and you can put together some interesting beats. <laughs> you don't have to hit an object to make a sound. Rubbing sandpaper against wood makes a great sound. Watch this. Snapping a rubber band against some paper makes another very neat sound. Even tearing paper makes a sound. All of these wonderful sounds. So exactly what is sound? That's a great question. Sound is created when something disturbs the air around it. Now let's use this plastic bowl as an example. When I hit the bowl, it causes the air around it to shake. Now this results in a sound. Sound actually travels in waves, like the ocean. Now you can't see sound waves, you can only hear them. But if you could see them, they would look something like this. Now this rope is going to represent my sound wave. The other end is tied over there, and I will hold this end. When you make a sound, it goes off in a wave just like this. See how the sound wave came back to me? Sound waves do this all the time. They bounce off walls and other objects in a room. Now, it is a little difficult to understand because you can't see it, but all sound is going through the air in waves. How high the sound is, or how low the sound is, depends on the shape of the wave. We'll get into that when you get a little older. For now, just have some fun with different sounds. See what types of sounds you can make with the different objects in your house. And remember, every time you make a sound, you're sending a sound wave into the room. Don't worry, you won't get wet, because it's not that kind of a wave. <laughs> Until next time, have a scientific day, and see if you can catch some sound waves, dude. <laughs>